The aim of life is to realize truth or God and to remain immersed in this contemplation. God alone is real, all else is false. The whole world is a dream, it is nothing but dream. My child, this world is like a deep, marshy place. Once one gets entangled there, it becomes very difficult for them to come out. Even Brahma and Vishnu lose their wits in the world. What to speak of humans? Repeat the name of God. If you do, he will cut away your bondage someday. Have deep faith in God. Discriminate always between the real, the changeless divinity, and the unreal phenomena. Whenever you find the mind drawn to any object, think of its transitoriness and thus try to withdraw the mind back to the thought of God. One should desire of God, desirelessness. For desire alone is at the root of all suffering. It is the cause of repeated births and deaths. It is the obstacle in the way of liberation. A golden chain is as good a shackle as an iron one. The less you become attached to the world, the more you enjoy peace of mind.
Peace is the principal thing. One needs peace alone. This body is only illusory. It is a shackle of illusion. This attachment to the body, the identification of the self with the body, must go. What is this body? It is nothing but three pounds of ashes when it is cremated. Why so much vanity about it? However strong or beautiful this body may be, its culmination is in those three pounds of ashes. And still, people are so attached to it. Everything depends upon one's mind. Nothing can be achieved without purity of mind. Blinded by egotism, People think themselves to be independent agents in regard to action. They do not depend on the divine, which protects one who relies on it. Open your grief-stricken heart to the divine. Shed tears and sincerely pray. O oh Lord, draw me towards you. Give me peace of mind. By doing so constantly, you will gradually attain peace of mind. Neither mantra nor scripture is of any avail. Pure loving devotion alone can win everything.
devotion is all. Surrender yourself. Just surrender yourself. Then only will she, the Divine Mother, be gracious and clear the way for you. Everything, including realization, will happen in time. For how many cycles did the Moonies and Rishis of old practice austerities to realize truth? And you believe you will attain it in a flash? If not in this life, you will attain to it in the next. If not in the next, it will be after that. There is no other virtue higher than forbearance. You have been extremely fortunate in getting this human birth. Have intense devotion to God. How can one achieve anything without effort? You must devote some time for prayer even in the midst of the busiest hours of the day. My child, this mind is just like a wild elephant. One should discriminate between the changeless reality and the changing, unreal phenomena all the time. One should work diligently for realization. But God, or ultimate truth, is not like fish or vegetables that you can buy for a price. One realises it in proportion to the intensity of one's feeling and devotion for it. <laughs> 